What's up this morning? Hey, it's Jason from No Tone Amps, and I want to talk guitar wiring this morning. Uh, this is kind of a little tech video. It's going to be kind of techy, and if you're not interested in it, it's probably going to be a little boring. But hey, if you want to learn something, stick with me. All right, so I have a Gibson Les Paul CM that is wired, uh, modern style, uh, Les Paul Junior style, modern Les Paul Junior style. Uh, this guitar can be extremely bright. Uh, it has a Gibson uh, 61 Zebra, I think is what they call it. Um, it has a maple neck. It has a uh, Melody Maker style body. It is thin. It is uh, mahogany, but it has a full quarter inch maple cap. This guitar can be very bright if you don't pick your pickup and your, your wiring selection properly. Uh, the 61 Zebra pickup, in my opinion, is very bright. It's part of the Burst Bucker family. Uh, its whole little deal is, is that it has been, um, the overwound coil has actually been flipped. It's on the opposite side. Um, I don't know. They're trying to get kind of a Telecaster tone, whatever. I, I don't think that that was there. Uh, it's supposed to be like a 60s type, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Sounds great. Uh, that's with my volume on 10, my tone's on 7. Now, what's the difference between 50s LP style wiring and modern style wiring? 50s LP style wiring, um, your volume and tone interact a lot more independently. Your tone is more of a true tone as opposed to um, on a modern style, uh, just a little bit of tone rollback and you start bleeding off tons of, of highs. That's why a lot of people go and they do this whole um, treble bleed cap. If you want a lot of treble with your volume rolled down, you don't need an extra cap and resistor sitting on the, the control cavity. Wire your guitar 50s LP style. I'll show you. As you roll down your volume and your tone, your highs remain. It remains clear. However, if you have a very bright guitar like this Gibson, I don't recommend it because it's going to make the guitar super bright and you're pretty much going to be stuck in one setting all the time. So, in my opinion, to get classic Les Paul tone out of a modern wired Les Paul, you're going to have it set on 10 with a vo volume on 10, the tone on 7. Turn my tone up on 10. Thin and bright. Now, if I leave my tone on 10, but I roll my volume back to 7 to clean the guitar up some, that sounds pretty good. Roll our tone down to 7 as well. tone past seven at this point it's going to get dark and muddy we'll go down to three kind of jazzy kind of womany all the way off don't know who's using that it's not me if that's you cool so if i roll my volume on down was on three, now we're on about five. And the tone on seven. It stays really clear. Volume on ten, tone on seven. Now, what's the point of all this BS? All right, here's the point. Here's a quick little deal. If you just want to ride your volume and not worry about your tone, set it up modern style. Because then, you set your tone on about 7, it's perfect. It is completely perfect. You just play with your volume. One pinky, that's it. You're good to go. Now, this is a very simple style wire. If you want to have endless possibilities, endless amounts of tone options, and if your guitar isn't overly bright, go with a 50s LP style. Uh... Yes, this is a Jag. It's the closest thing I'm going to get to uh, 
another Les Paul here for this instant video. This one's wired 50s Les Paul style. All right, so my volume is on 10, my tone is on three, set up as a humbucker. <laughs> Obviously, this humbucker is not as hot as the Gibson. Flip it up to P90 mode. Overall, sounds really good. Turn my tone all the way up on 10, volumes on 10. Right again. Now, here's the cool feature of 50s Les Paul style wiring. If I turn my tone to three, see how it's still clear? You still have your highs coming through, and that's in humbucker mode. If I start to roll my volume off, I just went from 10 to 9. You see the huge volume drop. But watch this, as I bring my tone up, I get a little bit of that volume back. Seven and seven. Volume on eight, tone on seven. on five, volumes on nine. Tones on three, volumes on 10. That's the part I don't think a lot of these things explain online when they, they're talking about the differences between modern and, and 50 style Les Paul. 50 style Les Paul allows your tone to be a lot more subtle However, when you start to roll your tone off, you're also rolling off volume. With a modern style, when you roll off volume, you're also rolling off tone. It basically flip-flops the spectrum so that you can roll your tone down and stay clear without a treble bleed. We're on 10, that's three. That's all the way off. I'm using a .047 cap in this versus the .022 in the Les Paul. It's a bright guitar. This is a bright guitar. Two different things, two different setups. It's not just a simple, hey, let me throw a 50 style Les Paul wiring in it. I'll leave the .022 cap. That guitar is gonna be extremely bright. It's not gonna be pleasing. Just like if I put a .047 on the modern style wired Les Paul, it's gonna be like going in a room, closing the door and turning the lights off. It's just gonna be dark, like stupid dark. We start to roll the tone up. Volume still on 10. That's on two. It's still a usable tone in anyone's book. Three. I think that's perfect with 50s Les Paul style. 50s Les Paul style, volume on 10. Tone on three is your perfect overdriven tone. Of course, if you start rolling your volume back, cleaning things up, then you have to play with your tone. Let's clean it up. Let's roll back to about seven on the volume. Let's come up to about eight on the tone. about eight on the volume. That is why you see a lot of guys playing vintage Les Pauls, always monkeying with both knobs. You gotta find the sweet spot. Is it more work? Yes, it is more work. Modern style, easier. 50s Les Paul, more work. Which one works for you? You have to make up your mind. I like 50s Les Paul style, I have more options. Some guitars, it just doesn't work. Y'all have a good day. Bye.